We are certified mall crawlers. What we do is usually sketchy and dangerous. Do not attempt anything we do. You are responsible for your own actions. Hello and welcome to the first ever tow truck Olympics. Today our events are taking place at the sand dunes behind the rocks in Moab, Utah. Today's events are brought to you by our sponsors. Tom Woods Custom Drive Shafts, Area BFE, Off-Road Design, Rugged Radios, NEPCO, PRP, and RCV Performance Products. We have four skilled drivers ready to compete in three thrilling events that will test their driving abilities and the capabilities of their trucks. Let's meet the drivers. Up first, driving the Tow Blazer equipped with three-wheel drive, he's seven feet tall, sporting a seven-inch beard and wearing a size seven shoe, the one and only Bob Parrish. This is Robert Parrish. Uh, I got the red blazer. Um, well, we're ready for the record Olympics. I've been four-wheeling for 20 years now, tow trucking for about 10 minutes. Most excited about. Hey, shut up over there. Up next, driving Camel the tow truck, equipped with the straightest axle and tie rod on the planet, rocking a tri colored beard, wearing a size 14 shoe, and featuring a priceless sense of humor. It's Dave Hellman. I'm Dave. Um, this is Camel the tow truck, and we are uh, going to be doing some tow truck olympicking apparently we got invited to this uh to tow truck olympic record game thing i'm not sure what it is but i heard that they were just inviting only the coolest tow trucks in moab and we're gonna go drive around out the sand apparently and see what what she can do now driving his tow yoda that set him back five bucks standing six feet tall his frontal lobe is almost complete sporting a quarter inch synthetic beard garrett ralston my name is garrett this is my 1990 toyota pickup that i paid five dollars for i'm excited about this event because i get to use all the squirrel power in the rev limiter to go fast heck yeah our final driver's truck is extra long and extra heavy. He's six feet tall, wears sandals with a four inch beard. It's Kevin Walker. All right, so I'm Kevin Walker. This is the General Chevy. Some, may, some people call it the generally broken Chevy, but it's not usually generally broken. Um, let's see. I think my secret for the event today or this week is gonna be that I'm using multiple winch ropes on one winch. And that gives me more power than everybody else. And now, join us for the national anthem, followed by the lighting of the ceremonial tow truck blaze of glory.
Here he comes with the torch. And he begins the lighting. And we're set for the exciting lighting of the tow truck blaze of glory. The flame on its way. And it looks like we're having some trouble getting the flame lighted. Here we go. I don't even know what to say. And, well, maybe not so much a blaze of glory. All right. Cue the CG fire. All right, now that we're all fired up, it's time for the first event, the Tow Athlon. In this event, the drivers will race through a sand dune obstacle course while towing a load behind them. Each driver will make their way from the starting position to their load. They'll attach their rig to the back of their truck before continuing on to the rest of the course. From there, they'll navigate this route. Once they pull their load across the finish line, the time will stop. Judges may add time penalties for any violations during the event. First on the course is Garrett Ralston driving his Toyota. And the starting flag is waved. Well, now the starting flag is waved. After a three second delay, he's underway. And Garrett has to pull up to his load and hook up his rig. He's still stuck in his truck. Now he's coming out and he's gonna hook up to the rig here. Oh, he's folding his strap. I don't know if this is against the rules. We're going to have to check with the judges here. He's folding his strap in half. He's going to have a shorter toe strap going through this course. Yeah, we'll have to see if this is legal or not. Oh, and they got to put your seatbelt on. Safety first on this course. And Garrett's finally back off. Boy, that load has taken a beating already. Around turn number one he goes. A little bit of moisture on the track today. That load is hanging tough, but man, it's tumbling pretty good. Now around the tree he goes. That load is still hooked. He hasn't lost it yet, although it's struggling a bit. Oh, it caught some air right there. And oh, he's lost half of his load. Oh my goodness, that's going to be a violation for Garrett as he's lost half of his rig. That's going to be a five second penalty as he comes around to complete his first lap. That Half of that load anyway is still hanging in. Around the first turn he comes. Look at that load catching some air. That rig is taking some bounces, that's for sure. In. Here comes Garrett to complete his second lap and his time. Unfortunately, he's going to face a penalty. Look at as he finishes with a 148, but with the five second time penalty, he's going to have a 153.02 for his final time. Next on the course is Kevin Walker driving the General Chevy. He's set to go. We await the fall of the starter's flag. And it's dropped. He's underway, already making good time as he heads to pick up his rig. Kevin pulls in very nimbly in this beast. <laughs> He's got the biggest truck picking up the smallest rig. And he drops his safety tape. He was talking about this safety tape earlier today, how it's going to help him win. It's bright yellow and it's going to be his secret weapon, the secret to his success. Oh, he's having trouble getting his rig hooked up. He Two, two tries and now he's going to wrap it around. Very unorthodox methods here for Kevin. And I think he's finally got it secured. you got to have the safety tape though. So he's going to wrap that around. And now he's set to go. I don't think I've ever seen a rig hooked up this way, but maybe it's going to serve Kevin well. Almost a minute in already, so he's lost his good start. He was making good time for the first five seconds of the race. Now he's underway, and that rig is hanging on for dear life. We're going to see if the safety tape is going to give him a win today. It is struggling back there. I think that rope is already loose. Safety tape is all that's holding his load on at this point. Some good in-truck views here as he goes down the, the hill and around the tree. And boy, that's the slowest part of the track, so that load got a little bit of a reprieve, but now it's taking a beating again. 
This is probably my favorite rig of the day. It's the rideable Dusty. I know there's some kids getting sad. Oh, it's off. He's lost his rig. He doesn't know it. He's lost his rig. This is definitely going to be a penalty for Kevin as he just continues to rip around the course, but he has no rig and he doesn't know it. Into his second lap now. It's an empty rope at the end of his truck. Oh, and he's about to lose his own truck. He nearly flipped over as he went up around the hill. And now he comes in to complete his lap. Already two minutes, so he's not making a great deal of time, and he's going to force a penalty as well as he digs into the finish line, and he comes across the finish line in 2.12, but he's going to have to go get his rig. Dang it. Now he's got his rig. He had to go completely across the course to grab that rig. He's going to have to fight a couple kids off here to bring Dusty home. He gets around him. He's going to finish the race with 2 minutes 48 seconds and an excellent effort there by Kevin. What an effort as he finishes with a nice dive. And there's no time to waste. Bob Parrish already on the course in the tow blazer. This maybe gets the award for the most beautiful truck today. I love that maroon. And we wait for the fall of the starter's flag. There it goes, and Bob is off with a beautiful entry into the course, making good time already as he pulls up to pick up his rig. So I guess he's always started. He's, he's always racing. He's having trouble getting out of the truck, it looks like. Oh, he's just off for a Sunday drive, I think. Just taking his time here to get his rig. He's, he's not in any rush, I don't think. Just watching the time tick by. Yeah, he's all about he's all about quality, not speed here, I think. We're gonna What is he hooking up to here? Well, he's got this all planned out as he hooks under the undercarriage of maybe the craziest rig of the day. <laughs> is this uh this is a four-wheeler? with some sort of, I don't even know, a mannequin or some creature out the top. Boy, Bob is uh, just taking his time. He's That's the fastest we've seen Bob move so far today. Oh, he's, he missed his seat. He missed his seat. He's flopped over in the passenger seat looking for something. Bob, uh, you're struggling time-wise here. Over a minute already on the course and still in no hurry. Bob just chilling. This is not very well planned out. I think the blazer, the tow blazer is going to take off on its own without its driver here. Just getting bored sitting here. And a minute 19 into the race. We're still hooking up here. He's struggling. He is struggling. Hey, the flag dropped a minute and a half ago, Bob. Gonna get more time off. Oh, and the head shoots off of his load. Oh my goodness, that thing is coming apart. That Jeep is struggling back there. Oh, look, though, we got some smooth towing going on here. This is nice. Oh, that's beautiful. It's trying to go down the hill and get away from Bob immediately. Yes, that's cool. That Jeep is hanging tough. Yeah, this is the smoothest, this is the least floppy rig towing we've seen so far today, but but uh, Bob struggling in the time department though, up to 2.15 on the course already. His rig is doing some barrel rolls now, oh, he's in, that rig is in trouble, that thing is coming, that thing came apart, wow. That was an impressive explosion. He's left half his rig back there, so he's going to pick up some time with uh, carrying less weight, it looks like. Well, no, that's going to, I think that's going to be another time dock. He's going to get docked some time. He's going to get docked some more time as his rig doesn't go through the actual finishing cones there. A fine effort but a rough time today. 251 is the official total. And that rig is decimated. Next on the course, our final driver of the day is Dave Hellman in Camel the Tow Truck. And he looks all business, waiting for the start. And the flag is thrown, and Dave is on the course, looking sharp. Oh, he's sporting two flags on the back of his truck. 
He gets to haul the coolest looking rig today. And I'm a little sad if this gets beat up. This looks like a cool little go-kart here, but we'll see if he can make better time than the previous two competitors hooking up his rig. This will be maybe the most challenging load of the day, this go-kart. Also a passenger on here. As David, instead of uh, cheating like Garrett did, decides to back his truck up five inches to uh, have enough length on the rope here to hook onto this go-kart. I'm gonna cheat like our first competitor of the day, Garrett, who pulled his load halfway up to the truck. Now I'm not sure what the delay is here. Oh, here we go. <clears throat> and he's underway. We'll see if this thing can stay back there. And this will be the most exciting ride of that passenger's life. Well, I think the, the rigs seem to handle the first lap pretty well. Oh, it's getting yanked around a little bit, but I think the second lap is, uh, is the more challenging lap for the rigs. We'll see how, it's, how it lasts here. He may have lost an axle on that rig. That thing dug in there pretty good. Oh, he's up, yeah, he's up to a minute, over a minute and a half now on the course. He's got, de this is decent time. We'll see how long it takes him to complete this second lap as he's in turn one now for lap number two. And it's gonna start getting a little bit rougher for that rig now, the second time through. Tumbling, the passenger is out. The safety tape fails yet again. And now, across the finish line comes Dave, and the rig hangs on just long enough. It has come loose, but it hung on just long enough for the finish in two minutes and four seconds for Dave Hellman, and the only driver today to not suffer any kind of penalty. I, uh, I thought I had the obstacle course nailed, but didn't quite get my, my uh, vehicle rigged up well enough. And then I had that one kid out there that was trying to steal my toe from me, but I got him though, that's for sure, I got it. Made my toe back for sure. So, I think we could have done a lot better in the obstacle course. I really thought that the guys had played a trick on me and stole my, my soft shackle out of the cab of the truck. Um, after some digging, we found it and uh, like I, I would have had a lot faster time had I not lost the soft shackle underneath the seat of the truck. It was super awesome, the camel. She performed like she should have. One of my favorites, getting to look in the rear view mirror and see the old go-kart trying to keep up with the camel. That was a lot of fun. Um, going into the optical course, I kind of had a pretty good idea what was going to happen. Well, this has four cylinders, but it does have Ultra 4 inspired suspension. So going off the, the dune and getting through the little bit of whoop section in there, I really didn't feel any of that. Yeah, I think I won with speed. In our next event, the drivers will drag race from the top of the berm down through the cones at the finish line. This could be exciting, a drag race pulling their rigs still. And they're off down the hill. The general Chevy gets a good start. Bob catching some air in the tow blazer, impressive, and he's partially off the course, and that go-kart is really flopping, and it nearly takes Garrett out. It looks like he's still in shock as the rest of the trucks go across the finish line. Let's see a replay on it as the go-kart catching some impressive air coming across the finish line. Wow, for such a good start, the General Chevy ended up not winning the race. I, I figured I wouldn't win the uh, drag race. This isn't the fastest truck, but uh, it was definitely fun out there drag racing. The, uh, the drag race was a little scary with uh, Dave's go-kart flying around everywhere. Um, I didn't actually get to see that because I was so focused on winning. It was pretty sketchy having to slam all my brakes because Dave doesn't know how to drive. Next up is the Toga War with Kevin Walker taking on Garrett Ralston. And it's the biggest truck in the event versus the smallest truck. We're going to see if the General Chevy pulls the back end off the Toyota. Hey, this is Gemma. I'm Stacy, and we're with the Moab Mall Callers, and we're going to do a Toga War. She's got a lot of guts standing out there between those trucks. Get back. 
What just happened? In the biggest upset of the day, it's the Toyota beating the General Chevy. When they said go, I was still in reverse for some reason, and I hammered it in reverse, and instead of towing Garrett all over the place, he drug me. Hey, I may have lost that race, but I'm buying votes from y'all. I got the ice cream. Who wants the ice cream? <laughs> Hell yeah. <laughs> Kevin always has ice cream. Area BFE coming through with the cooler always. I got my vote. Ice cream, ice cream. Ice cream. Fudge stick. Or <laughs> drumsticks. Fudge stick. I'm the winner. <laughs> Everybody agreed, right? I'm pretty sure I won all the events. I definitely won the event, I'm sure, because I had ice cream for all the spectators, and that's what everybody wanted, really, was the ice cream. So, we win. I'm pretty sure I won all the events. Well, they can work that out amongst themselves, but we saw what happened. In our final event, it's Dave Hellman versus Bob Parrish in a toga war. It's the Tow Blazer versus Camel the Tow Truck. Go Kart versus Axle. <laughs> oh, and it is a battle. We got a wheelie. Wow, this is a good toga war right here. The Tow Blazer digging in. Man, that's cool. This is this is a good toga war. These guys aren't messing around. No one's stuck in reverse in this one. Wow, that's awesome. Good torque. They're gonna, wow, he's just digging a hole. Toe Blazer is digging a hole. Bob, digging deeper and deeper. I don't think he's going anywhere. He's gonna dip the butt. Oh no, he gets yanked out of his hole. Wow, what a battle this is. No one giving an inch. As they keep going at it in this massive toga war. Now Camel gets the edge and yanks the tow blazer across the cone. So after uh, after having a whole days worth of four wheeling with this, the uh, the guys made a hell of a truck for me. Um, it was set up well. Uh, it's a little gutless, but I think hanging around Dave's shop, it's going to become better with every modification. First one, best wheelie, goes to Bob. Bob. Yeah. Worst breakage, Kevin. Yeah! yeah. Most helpful, full size, Garrett. I don't know about that. <laughs> Most full size people here. Yeah. This trophy is awarded to the Moab Mall Crawlers for being the first ever tow truck wrecker Olympic game participant. Locker. Yeah, so I won the trophy for the worst breakage. That would be me. Kind of ripped the boom apart. Wasn't as strong as we thought it was going to be. Uh, but, you know, we'll come back next time stronger and better. I was thoroughly shocked and surprised when these guys came up with an award for this. The, uh, the blazer was... I should not have been surprised that it stood up on the back tires, but But it did. Well, coming out of this, I'm really glad I came with a trophy. Uh, most helpful size. I and mean, I think what we're going to start hearing this scene in the uh, future is uh, a lot of these Chevy tow truck guys switching over to Toyota tow trucks. Um, I think I have a big part in helping with that. So uh, we'll see a couple years down the road what's going on. All right, mall crawlers. Um, I just want to thank you guys very much, all the people out in the YouTube world for taking their time to watch our videos. Um, we haven't had videos out in a while, but we are going to start putting out putting out videos. Um, hopefully, a couple of week now to keep you guys more entertained. And thank you for watching our big event. This was super cool. It was probably, hopefully, our best video yet. Uh, tell your friends to like and subscribe. Tell your friends about our YouTube channel. I know there's some other channels out there that do similar stuff, but we're going to be entertaining also. Um, 
and we have some events coming up. It's gonna be something out at Area BFE during Jeep Safari. It's gonna to have to do with some tow trucks, some kind of a race course set up where everybody can watch it. We're not 100% sure what we're doing yet because that's how we usually normally roll, but we have a few weeks to figure that out. We'll figure it out and we'll have a great time out there. Um, so welcome, you guys are all welcome to come out to Area BFE. It's gonna be a vendor show. There's gonna be other stuff going on there. There's a black flag. Um, challenge if you guys don't know what that is black flag is an almost impossible trail to drive there's gonna be some of the top drivers in the world coming out there so if you guys want to meet us in person we will be out at area bfe during the vendor show we're gonna have a booth out there we'll be selling some welders it's gonna be april 6th and 7th either mickle or one of us moab mall crawlers will be out there and then we're gonna do something fun with our trucks out at the same event so come out see us april 6th and 7th vendor show at area bfe check it out